Hi, this is Dr. Bill Cotteman, one of your coaches for your ortho coach. I am looking forward to my presentation on July 23rd, where I will be speaking about accelerated orthodontics using light, specifically the OrthoPulse device. Uh, just a little background there, acceleration for orthodontic patients today, if we're looking at non-invasive uh, acceleration, we have two options. We have vibration or we have now light, which is termed light therapy or photobiomodulation. The advantage of light is that it stimulates the cells literally at the cellular level, the mitochondria, uh, and it can increase their metabolism by a factor of two. And the important point is it stimulates both apposition and resorption, where we know from some of the studies with uh, vibration that apposition is stimulated, but the effect on resorption is unclear. In other words, we don't have both going on, so in theory at least, photobiomodulation may move teeth more quickly. I am going to showcase five uh, cases on the 23rd. I will quickly highlight them now uh, and showing different uses both not only in speed but also in very difficult tooth movement. We will look at Peter, a 26 year old congenitally missing teeth where we're simply going to open up space for uh, implants. Uh, we changed his aligners every five days and had his treatment completed in four months time. We'll also look at uh, another patient um, a little bit older uh, who had previous ortho, a 66 year old who had bicuspids removed as a child and was interested in uh, realigning his teeth. He warned us that he would not wear his aligners during the day and so we stressed that we would uh, recommend some uh, device to aid movement uh, and we also kept the rate of movement at one week rather than try and accelerate it. Uh, with his denser bone as a 66 year old we were able to align all of his teeth in six months time. Uh, we have a good smile change in, in Robert in, in that time frame. We'll look at Jessica who had uh, spacing and uh, a diastema in the upper and flaring in the lower and she was in uh, somewhat of a rush to have treatment and so we treated her in nine weeks by having her change her aligners twice per week. We'll also take a look at another restorative case uh, in Sarah coming up here and she is a 35 year old and missing teeth as well and we were going to open up space for um, implants in the posterior. She was also a very challenging patient in that we did uh, some poor diagnosis on my end as far as aligning the spaces the way we wanted to. So we did have multiple refinements uh, but even with multiple refinements at uh, changing three and a half days uh, per aligner, we were able to treat her whole case uh, in 15 months time, where it would have been easily a two and a half year treatment otherwise. And lastly, we will look at one of the more challenging cases I've treated with aligners in my practice, a patient that is missing posterior teeth and has a most significant anterior open bite. And again, because of the challenge, we started with one week changes. We then went to five day changes. And ultimately, we did do three and a half day changes. And in a matter of uh, uh, 15 months, had an incredible change. So all of these cases will be highlighted uh, and explained in detail on July 23rd. So I'm hoping that uh, you can join us for that and also realize that the webinar will be on file to view at your leisure and download anytime. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to talking to you in a few weeks time.